as we mark the beginning of Lent, a season of reflection, penitence, and prayer, let us take a moment to quiet ourselves and prepare to open ourselves to God's presence. Return to God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Return to this season called Lent, a season of fasting and prayer, reflection and introspection. Return to yourself and to the treasure that is Christ living within you. Turning and returning with heart, mind, and soul wide open, let us worship the God of love. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Jesus said, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So, whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of Christ. May the words from my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. These words open our Palm Sunday liturgy each year. The service begins with the story of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. People were waving branches and shouting to celebrate his arrival. We know that the path before him led to self-giving, suffering, and death. In remembrance, we wave our palms and then bring them home, where they serve as an ongoing connection to our faith. The palms remain in our homes throughout the year, becoming drier, but remaining intact. Even as the color fades, we know what they are. Each time we look at them, we are reminded of 
Jesus' journey to the cross. As Lent approaches, we are encouraged to return the palms to the church, and they are burned to make the ashes that are used on Ash Wednesday, when we acknowledge that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. Palms to ashes is a profound symbol of faith. We know that life ends in decay. We know that whole life eventually breaks down, becoming compost, fertile soil that nurtures new life. Remember, we are dust, and to dust we shall return. Like the palms themselves, our lives are a symbol of our faith, a symbol of what we believe about the life, death, and resurrection of God made flesh in Jesus Christ. The palms connect us to Jesus's journey to the cross. The fire consumes that reminder, inviting us to let go of our distractions and struggles from the past year and be open to what is possible as we begin the journey anew. Palms turn to ashes, dust to dust, reminding us that the circle of life continues. Remember, we are dust, and to dust we shall return. As we begin our journey into Lent, we are invited to reflect on the story of our faith. Who is Jesus for us right now? How have we honored his life, death, and resurrection over the past year? What do we need to let go, allowing it to be consumed by the fire that creates space for new life? What disciplines will we choose to take on this season in the hope of seeing new life grow within ourselves? How will our relationship to God and each other inform our choices for this season? Remember, we are dust and to dust we shall return, pointing to new life and new possibilities. May we observe a holy Lent by self-examination, penitence, prayer, fasting and almsgiving, and by reading and meditating on the word of God, creating spaces for God to do something new in our lives, individually and collectively. This we pray as we sing together, Ashes.
Let us pray. Sustained by God's abundant mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all of creation. O Lord our God, you gather your church and call us to return to you. Accompany us throughout our Lenten pilgrimage. Create in us clean hearts and renew all the baptized to declare your praise. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You renew your creation, O God. Bring rains to parched places and heal lands affected by a changing climate, that all inhabitants of the earth experience your abundance. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Renew the nations, O God. Give voice to those on the margins and resolve to world leaders who seek to protect those most vulnerable. Loosen the bonds of injustice and bring an end to all violence, oppression, and persecution. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Renew your people, O God. Respond to those who cry out to you in secret or in seclusion. Equip us with the compassion to care for those who experience homelessness, food insecurity, economic hardship, and illness. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Renew congregations, O God. Inspire our faith formation ministries and those who teach and lead. Invigorate us with lifelong curiosity and wonder as we grow as your disciples. Merciful God, receive our prayer. O Lord our God, we give thanks for all your faithful ones of every time and place. Renew us by the example of their lives of prayer and service. And at the last, bring us with them into your everlasting presence. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your steadfast love and your promise to renew your whole creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Almighty God, from the dust of the earth you have created us. May these ashes be for us a sign of our mortality and penitence, and a reminder that only by your gracious gift are we given eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. In remembrance of our baptism and the ways in which the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus bring us hope, I now invite you to trace the cross of Christ on your forehead as you say, Remember, we are dust, and to dust we shall return. Accomplish in us, O God, the work of your salvation, that we may show forth your glory in all the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. <laughs> 